In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today is the feast day of St. Francis of Paula, and as we begin our celebration of the Eucharist today, let us start by calling to mind the times our lives may not have reflected the Gospel call, and let us ask the Lord for his grace and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you call us to pick up our cross and follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to trust in God our Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you strengthen us by the gift of your Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, exaltation of the lowly, who raised St. Francis of Paula to the glory of your saints, grant, we pray, that by his merits and example, we may happily attain the rewards promised to the humble through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abraham prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Cana, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord, Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord, the Lord remembers, remembers his covenants forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made bonding for a thousand generations which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord, Lord remembers Lord, his covenant Lord. forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. <clears throat> Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen to you. Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at Jesus, but he hid and went out of the temple area. 
The Gospel of the Lord. So it is an oft-remarked quip in the world of priests and religious that the main difference between Franciscan groups is how they can uh, out-impoverish one another, how they basically interpret the um, call to a, sim a simple way of life, the call to poverty that Francis of Assisi um, really used as the pillar of the, his new community. Francis of Paola, whom we celebrate today, took that as a hermit from early on in life, really to a pretty far extreme. Um, and he founded his own order in the middle, well, in the late part of the 15th century, the um, Order of Minims, literally the Order of the Least. And so he is a saint, if there was any saint for our time, that we should call upon for his intercession, for perseverance in this time of lacking, for perseverance in this sort of moment where we find ourselves. And so, as far as Saint Francis of Paola goes, there's only one other thing to say. Saint Francis of Paola, pray for us. Amen. And so let us join together, offering our prayers to God. At this Mass, in particular, we pray for the peace and the repose of the soul of Philip and Rose Don Diego, and we pray for the intentions of Mary Brady, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church throughout the world that it be a sign of hope in this last week before Holy Week. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a deepening of our spiritual life in this time, that we will listen to where the Holy Spirit of God is calling us to go and calling us to act. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in our families and communities, um, those who take care of them, doctors, nurses, medical workers, that they all be protected by God's saving and protecting grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our government leaders that they may be inspired to work constantly for the common good of all peoples. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and we offer to the Lord silently the prayers that we carry with us in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ, you have shown us the way of your kingdom. In your mercy and in your loving kindness, hear our prayer and grant them, for we make them in the name and power of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed you Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Through the fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Sacrificing your sight this day be pleasing to you.
Amen. Lord, receive the offerings made for the salvation of your people so that through the intercession of blessed Francis de Paula, we may flee the enticements of sin and evil and draw ever nearer to the company of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly, it is right and just. Our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise you, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation, and so may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Truly, Lord, you are holy and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And so as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Mary, Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Paul, St. Francis de Paula, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathered together by the Lord and guided by the Spirit, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of his peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the 
Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord our God, that defended by the protection of blessed Francis, Francis of Paula, we may live by the sacrament of your wisdom in serenity and moderation all the days of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks.